Okay, so this is how you request access to a business page in 2023 and beyond. This is where we're at right now. So, okay. so me being the agency, you being the client, I'm having you go into your business page. You're logged into your business page right here. You click on your profile picture, and then you're coming down and clicking on settings and privacy. So okay. settings and privacy. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to click on settings. Mm -hmm. And then to the very, very left, new pages experience. Mm -hmm. And so now um, you have business accounts down here at the bottom. So partnered with um, Zelle Backup 2. So you can, mm -hmm. you can do it that way. And then you can you can also just give people people with task. So that's what I'm going to have you do it with me. So add new people with task, task access. So add new. And then you just simply type in type in my name. And then in this case, all I need access to is is ads to run is to run an ad. So as you click on my name, you'll see, yeah, you'll see um, the different the different access points. So here you can so ads right there. So what what do we all have? We have content messages, community activity, ads. What's what else is down there? Um, insights. insights and that's so, perfect. So then ads. That's really all I need is ads, okay. and then give access. Okay, perfect. And then give access. Just those, just those two. Yeah, just those, just those two. That's fine. Okay. Give access, and then now, um, so for your security, re-enter your Facebook profile password to confirm that this person should have access. Okay, so go ahead and put in your password. So now that invitation was just sent to me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my. I should have I should have received an email or I should have received a notification on Facebook. So let me check. So the notification came to my Facebook. So all I'm going to do is click here. And then it says, right here, Rosa invited you to manage the page. So as I click on that, then I come over here and um, you'll see right here, review your invite to, invite to have task access to this page. So review invite, I click on that. What you can manage if you accept task, ads, insights, next. And then what you should know about task. And then there's just a few bullet points, accept invite accepted and that's it so now okay. now as i go as i go to my business manager so let me let me click on this as i go in here now and as i and as i click on create okay say i'm going engagement and then i hit continue <clears throat> let's see if your page um now it shows because before you used to have to i used to have to connect my name to it on my end but but okay. let, let's see if if i don't have to do that anymore so now as i come down here um so i can go so facebook page if i change if i change that page there you go there you are right there perfect okay. so now, now i can run the ad from your page from your page and and go from there now another way to do it another way to do that is go ahead, and, go ahead and share your screen. Let me show you another way to see. So what I did right now is I just requested access to your page so I can mm -hmm. run an ad from my account, but from your business page. And that's this is what I'm going to do for the one-time like ad. Just blow okay. up fast and just run this one-time like ad. But in the future, in the future, you'll be running ads from your account for local leads and, and, and targeting your local area. That's when I'll just show you how to run the ads out of your account, right? So, so now... If if I wanted to request access to everything, let me let me show you another way where where I where we could have done it. So let me see if this part changed. Go ahead and share your screen. Book logo to the to the left. So right there, top left, Facebook. Just go back to the to the news feed. Okay. Um, and then so now from here, click on ads manager right there to okay. the left. Okay. So let me see if you have um, and this is the same personal profile that you've had, right? You didn't did you set up a new one or anything like that? I can't remember like my Facebook got yeah, hacked, got, and that's why we hacked. had to start from scratch again. Yes. That's what we're doing now. Yeah. Click on your um the three lines to the very, very left. Um, those yeah. three lines you go to business settings. Okay. So business settings. Let's see if you have a, a business account set up. Yeah, okay, perfect. So everything, yeah. See, so we set all this up last time under the under the new account. Oh, so okay. I can't remember. Business account. So go ahead and um go ahead and, and hit that drop down in the top left, your name, Rosa. Mm -hmm. These, so these are your two accounts. So the bottom one is your is your personal account, your okay. account, but the top one is your business account. So that's where you want to want to run everything out of. Okay. So one way you could have um, gave me access as well is so click away from that, and then okay. click on um, partners, 
And then here is where you would you would share assets. So assets yeah. you shared and then and then assets shared with you. So what one way to do it is you click on share assets right there. Um, yeah, to the right, share assets. And then here you would just simply um you would actually, you know what, you're yeah, you should be. Let me see. Here. So before you share assets, you would you would add someone to share it with. So the Zelle backup too, who's that? That's the other ad account, remember, or the other the advertising company or whatever. Are they are they still? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So leave them then. So mm -hmm. click on the ad. So this how this is another way you can do it. So you click on the ad, and then you're you're going to give a partner access to your assets. So so here's so then now here's what I got to do. So here's my business ID. So now let me let me um let me get my business ID and the way and where you get your business ID is you simply watch them watch hit cancel this is one's business id hit cancel and to the very very bottom left click on business info so anybody that's an agency or anybody that's requesting access to somebody's business page know your business manager id number and that's it at the top so 22932 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into my account okay. and i'm going to get that number and then and then i got to give it to you okay okay so i'm going to i'm going to send it to you in the chat so as I as I get this number, yeah, let me send it to you here in the Zoom chat. So now what you're going to do is 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 copy that number in the Zoom chat, and then mm -hmm. just go ahead and 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 paste it in right there. Okay. So this is this is so so everything is an asset within within Facebook. Your business page is an asset. Your pixel is an asset. Your your custom audiences are assets. Your your um your domain. That you're running Facebook ads to is an asset. So these are all different things that you now would would share with somebody individually, okay. right? So, so um, so ads again. Did you already paste it in? And, and yeah. Okay, so let me let me see if I got a notification on my end. So all you'd be doing now is these are different assets: the ad account, the um, the the custom conversions. Scroll down on the left hand side, the domains. So, so in the future, the reason why I'm, I'm really taking you through this part, because in the future, if, if these other companies are running ads for you or doing anything on your business page, this is how you, you would give them access. So okay. you would ask them for their business ID number and, mm -hmm. and that was, that's their business ID number. And then you would come over here to partners. You would click on the blue, give, give, give partner access. Mm -hmm. And then these are all the different, different assets that they would, that one would need. So, so to tell mm -hmm. you the truth, one would only need the ad account, maybe the ad account. The custom conversions, the domains, and the and then at the very top, the pixels, and then and then and then the classic pages. Um, businesses new to Facebook products, hover over apps or hover over pixels. What does it say over pixels? So business businesses new to Facebook products can share a pixel by assigning a partner from another business several weeks of following our after oh, several weeks of following yeah. our policies. I don't know. I don't, I don't know about that one, but click on click. So you're on ad account. So click on your mm -hmm. name in the middle, um, Rosa to the right, check out that circle and then full control. So if I was running ads from my, from my account, I now have access to your business page and right here, go ahead and click on save changes. I would now have access to your ad account. So your ad account is where, so for example, in the future, as you go into local ads, let's say, for example, I was running ads for you. I'd be running it from from my side. It'd be going. It'd be coming from your business page, but it'd be charged to your credit card because now I have access to your ad account. Okay. And, and giving me access to your ad account, I can't see your credit card or anything like that. All I can see is the last yeah. four digits. But, okay. but that's the card that would be charged for for ads. Mm -hmm. So click, click on done. And so now go ahead and refresh this page. And then now. I should have received an email or I should have received a notification. Yeah, hit that one. And then click on Cantero Media. Okay, right here. So assets. So assigned assets. That's the that's the um assets you shared. Um, so now let me check my end. So now I have access. This is the email that I just got. You can work on a new ad account on Business Manager. So as I click on that, this is this is now your new ad account. So as I come to as I come to my ad accounts. I now have access to Rosa's ad account. Okay. Right. So now in the future, if I if I if I was running ads this way, which I'm not going to run, run ads this way, and I'm going to remove myself from your ad account right now in a second. But if mm -hmm. I was running ads monthly for you, this is this is how I would do it. So now I would just come over here, 
go to ads manager. And then now on the top left, all ads would be ran from this account, which is right, right. Where did it go? Rosa, 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 Rosa. It would be, where did it go? It'd be in, um, actually, you know what? My bad, my bad. Here's what I got to do on my end. So business settings. So here's what I have to do on my end. So here, here's the, the, the Cantero Media is the account that you gave access to. So now I have to go to the ad accounts and I see your name right there. This is your ad account. And then I have to add people, which is me. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'm adding people assign. Now, now I have full access. So now okay. as I go back to the ads manager, now I have access to your business page and now I have access to your ad account. So, so as I come here and run, run the next ad, all I got to do is hit this drop down, mm -hmm. come to your ad account. And now I run it from your ad account. Um, and there's there's your ad account. So new page like campaign, the Zell media, the Zell media. So this these are your current ads in this ad account. Okay. So for anyone really running ads for you, um, they'll be requesting access to your business page. They may even request access to your to your ad account. They'll request access to your pixel, um, to your okay. to your um, to your domain, and and most importantly to your custom conversion and even okay. custom as well. These are all individual assets that one would need need access to, and that's how you do it. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Is it enough? So for the um, so I've already paid for the ad. So how is that going to work? Yeah. With, we're, that, so, am I going to be double charged, or how is that? No, not work? at all. Not at all. Oh, not okay. at all. So now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my business settings, okay. and I'm going to come to your ad account right here. Okay. Here's your ad account, and all mm -hmm. I got to do on my end is simply click on the three dots and remove. So okay. Remove ad account. Uh, okay. And now I have no access to that account. So I could I could remove myself from from my end, and then you can also remove me from your end as well. Okay. Right here, pages. Mm. Um, I don't know why your page doesn't show right here. Yeah, it just doesn't show there anymore for whatever reason. Um, but I but I still have but I do have access to it because you because I saw it over here. So as I click on, let's just go back into this one. Mm -hmm. As I go back into, as I go into this one, click on next, and then your page would be right, select Facebook page, your page would be under, oh, I think I saw it, right here, yeah. yes, right here, so there's your page right there, so I have access to your page, please read accept Meta's lead view terms, so if you got to accept anything like this, go ahead and agree, and that's it, perfect, okay. so now we're good to go, so I can run this like ad, boost up that like count, and then, um, and then, and then on our next ad, whenever that may be, that's when I'll just start showing you how to run them through through your end. Okay, awesome. That's works. Okay, that's fantastic. Cool.